All right, everybody, how you doing? My name is Mr. Sansomino. This is eighth grade science. A little bit more difficult for most, but not for Mr. Sansomino. I'm about to break it down for you so that it's easy and it comes natural. All right, so key things you want to know. We're always looking for keywords. We're always looking for clues. And we're always looking for the best possible answer. And remember, the clock is ticking. All right, so here we go. It says, which statement best explains why the sun and the moon appear to be about the same size in the sky? All right, so what we're looking for is a statement that it says best explains why the sun and the moon appear to be about the same size in the sky. Now, when we're looking up in the sky, the first thing we think about is the sun and we think about the moon. Now, everybody knows that the sun is bigger than the moon, but because of the way it appears in the sky, it creates an optical illusion. So, to the untrained eye, you might think that they appear to be the same size, but that's actually not true. So let's get a look at some of the choices they give us, all right? First choice says the sun and the moon have the same diameter. Well, for my math people out there, you know diameter measures what? The, the distance from across the circle. Now, if we know that the moon is smaller than the sun, we know that their diameter cannot be the same. So right away, that's out. Forget about it, okay? And think about that from a math perspective. Um, going forward, number two says, moon is larger in diameter and farther from the sun. Well, maybe the second part of this might be cool, farther from the sun, but it just said again that the moon is larger in diameter. But we know from the first choice that that's impossible, okay? The moon and the sun have different diameters. So, all right, so where are we at? We're at the 50-50 mark right now. When you need to know a little couple things about common sense. Common sense says that the sun is much larger than the moon. All right, so let's keep that focused. Number three says, moon is smaller in diameter, sounds pretty good, right? And is closer to the earth than the sun. Well, we know two things, right? Don't we know that there are two planets that are before us in the distance to the sun? Well, yeah. So, we're going to keep a question mark next to that one. Because this is eighth grade science, we want to be careful for any mistakes. The sun and the moon are the same distance from the earth. Well, if that was true, we'd all be floating around in the air because the gravitational force would just make us, I mean, it would just be ridiculous, all right? So, no way. So again, same idea, same concepts always being applied. We're always looking for the best answer, but the first thing we're looking to do is to scratch out the ones that make no sense. So the best answer for number, for number one is actually number three. The moon is smaller in diameter, okay, and is closer to the earth than the sun. All right, keep that in mind.